Okay, so I thought I'd show how I go about weathering uh, the underframes of the wagons. Obviously, this is a, a as built Farish um, wagon. I've, I've repainted it in the electrification green and yellow livery that was uh, running around on the southern region. But so far, I haven't done anything with the underframe. So, I, I use dry brushing as a method. Uh, I've got four different brown paints here I use. I've got a uh, Dryad Bark, Tuscor Fur, Scrag Bound and Morfang Brown. And I just go and build up layers on the uh, paint until I get a, a, a desired effect. And it just takes away the, the black shine that's on the underframe. So I'm going to make a start using the Dryad Bark initially. So what I'll do is just make sure this is well shaken and then get the tiniest little amount on the brush. The brush I'm using, um, I've chopped most of the bristles off, it's quite an old brush, chopped most of them off so it's quite short and I get the tiniest amount of paint on the, the bristles here. Okay, and then on the pitch tissue paper just brush off most of it so it's just leaving tiny marks now and then on the underframe just brush this across and that highlights all the edges in a, in a bit more of a brown colour. And because it's all acrylic paints, it pretty much dries quite instantly because it's quite thin uh, and obviously dries quite quick. So here you can see I've just done that one layer of the dried bark. It's got that's the brown, oh sorry, brown colour that I've just done, and that's the black side. See, it's just doled it down quite nicely. But I'm just going to highlight some of that with just a lighter shade of brown now. So I'm going to switch out from the dried bark. I'm going to come into the morn mournfang brown, which is a little bit more of a light brown colour. Again, making sure it's well shaken. And again, the brush is clean and dry. I'm going to get a tiniest little bit of that. And do the same, I'm just going to brush most of it off a piece of tissue paper. This one I want a little bit drier because it's only for highlighting. So now I'm hardly getting any paint there. I'm just going to go over the top. And this is just going to really pick out any of the high spots. And a slightly lighter. So you've now got two shades of brown there. You've got the initial dark dark brown, which is more of a base colour, and then this lighter brown going over the top, just highlighting a bit more some of the detail there. And now I'll just give it a third coat using this scrag brown, which is a quite a significantly lighter shade than the two that we've done previously. Um, but it, again, it's highlighting the tiny details again. This one, I want even less paint on it but it's really, as I say, just a tiny little bit of highlight. So yeah, you can see you've got the tiniest little bit of paint on there. Again, brushing most of it off on the tissue paper, and then just a light brush, primarily over the high spot, so handbrake and axle boxes, and it's just uh, highlighting anything that's raised slightly. You can go up onto the body side if you want a little bit, and it's just, as I say, it's making this have a little bit more pop to the detail. So that's the effect that I've got afterwards. I'll show some close-up photos, and then that's the initial black that we've we've started with. It is for me, it's a much more improved effect there. Okay, Okay, now if I wanted to, to weather the body side here, I'd just use something like the um, uh, Agrax Earthshade, which is um, like a weathering wash. Uh, again, it's Citadel paints, and this time I'll swap to a brush with a, a bit of a longer bristle, still quite stiff. 
and I'm just going to get the tiniest, again, the tiniest little amount of this on the brush because it goes a long, long, long way. I'm not going to brush it off of the uh, brush. I'm just going to make downward strokes down the wagon all the way along, from top to bottom. And the more you brush, brush this, try and keep it sort of slightly slanted as it gets a bit drier so that it looks like it's rain washed coming down the, the wagon. And again, once I've done this and it's dried, I'll show you some, some pictures showing both sides. I'll do one that's weathered and one that's unweathered. Yeah, and just brush this down, making it look like it's uh, dirt washed down by the rain. So that would be the wet side that I've done. And that's the unweathered side, as you can see, it's a lot brighter. This one's dulled down quite significantly. And what you can do if you wanted to is just take off as much or as little as you want. Just dry some off with your brush as you go along. And you'd apply the same technique to doing the roof as well working from the centre of the roof across down to the sides. I'm just as I'm doing this I'm continually drying the brush off, taking the majority of the paint off each time. Okay, so I'll let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll show you um, how I've achieved that, how it looks. So hopefully you in, you've um, enjoyed that episode on how I've weathered this wagon. You know, that's the unweathered side and the weathered side. I think there's a significant difference. And also, as you can see, I don't know if it shows up particularly well on the the camera here. It, it mats the the finish down quite significantly. So this obviously looks a lot more matte and less glossy than, than the initial side. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the best at weathering, you know, there's lots of people that do it, different techniques, but I think the, the outcome I've got, you know, I've used a couple of brushes, a dry brush technique, and it gives me an effect that I'm, I'm pretty happy with, and it takes that, that gloss shine off of the majority of wagons and looks, makes them look used. There is other techniques I use if I'm doing something slightly differently, uh, maybe if I'm trying to achieve maybe a rust effect or a streak of panel, then I use a different technique, I might come back and show that on a different video, but this is more of an overview of standardly what I would do is just weather that, that under frame. I'll go around and I'll do the couplings and the buffers, the same technique, and then if I want a, a dirty finish I'll go over with that um, weathering wash um, that I've used that, and, and just gives that nice finish. So hope you've enjoyed that and you, you've got some of the techniques learnt yourself and maybe you can go and apply that. But one thing I would say is don't be afraid, have a go, go and get a cheap wagon, so a cheap coach, and just give it a try. Um, don't don't go attacking your first model being a, a two hundred pound loco. Start with something quite cheap and simple, and then, uh, as I say though, it's, it's acrylic. So worst case scenario, just go down with a bit of water, wet it up, and the majority of it will wash off afterwards. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and leave any comments and feedback. I'd be appreciative if you could do that. Thanks.